<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today is Monday, October the 14th. Hope everybody had a good day. It's chilly here. Uh, I think we hit maybe 61. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it cold. But anyway, hey, there's a lot going on. Uh, <clears throat> they caught a guy with a gun in his car at a Trump rally, arrested him for, I guess, attempted assassination, or it looks like it may have been, he was set up to maybe try and shoot Trump. So that's uh, three attempts. That's what they're saying on the news. I don't know. Uh, and then uh, another story I had, I had a few stories I wanted to share, and I, it's like, damn, I don't know which ones to do. Um, Sunday in South Carolina, they had eight small uh, earthquakes. I think the highest on the Richter scale was like 2.2 or 2.3, enough for people to feel it. And they're trying to recover from Hurricane Lena. It's just like, you know, what's a, you know, you get, you get three steps forward and you have to take two steps back and that's, you know, dealing with what they're dealing with and then get some earthquakes on you to, to sh uh, rattle your bones a little more. Wow. Um, so the article I'm going to share, I've read three. And each one is different, but pretty much comes down to the same thing. Uh, they blame the orange man. I don't, I don't live in North Carolina. I don't actually, uh, I've never been to North Carolina. So, the people that live there, they actually know what's going on. And if this stuff isn't real, all this misinformation that's out there, they, they share it. They let us know what's really going on. So, let me uh, share the article. It says, Armed Militias Hunting FEMA. And Hurricane Ravage in North Carolina report says. Really? My damn phone, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit on it. <laughs> federal, federal relief workers are reporting danger from armed militia groups in parts of North Carolina ravaged by Hurricane Helena. That roadblock to delivering much needed aid to those impacted by the September 26th storm comes amid a slew of anti-government conspiracy theories so problematic that the Federal Emergency Management Agency posted a web page addressing such disinformation. Sorry, there. Okay. <laughs> It never, I keep forgetting to turn my phone off. Anyway, uh, among the bad messaging making the rounds is the false claim that FEMA is using the hurricane fallout as an opportunity to seize land owned by victims. Concerns of possible violence uh, caused the FEMA crews to in Rutherford County to relocate, according to CBS News, which said the agency also stopped going door to door offering assistance in the 65,000 person county. U.S. Forest Service officials in that southeastern part of the state reported reportedly warned federal responders that National Guardsmen encountered militias who said they were hunting FEMA. 
FEMA acknowledged to CBS News that it had made some special operational adjustments to keep workers safe as it continues to assist those displaced or otherwise inconvenienced by Helena. The National Guard claims it hasn't encountered any armed militia, any threats, and any type of combatants impending, uh, impeding its work in North Carolina. Politicians, including Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, have added to frustrations in the aftermath of the hurricane by falsely claiming the federal government was low on resources needed to aid victims of natural disasters. But wait a minute. The guy that's running FEMA came out and said they were low on funds. Because it was spending money on immigrants who are in the country illegally. Some Trump supporters have claimed areas needing help because of natural disasters are being discriminated against due to their politics. Despite the fact President Biden announced Sunday his administration was allocating $600 million for hurricane relief in Florida. That state, which was pummeled by Hurricane Milton last week, uh, voted Republican in the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections and appears likely to do so again next month. Georgia uh, Representative Majory Taylor Green has basically insisted some unspecified entity is able to control The weather to target Republicans. Humans cannot create or control hurricanes. Uh, Florida Representative Carlos A. Jimenez in response to his colleague's latest conspiracy theory. Now, I did read another article where Marjorie Green, uh, she came out and said that they could control the weather. Uh, She said something about lasers, shooting lasers. Like I said, I read or went through three articles, the ones that catch my eye, and most of them were along these lines, and they just changed their wording. And uh, they they just changed their wording. Every article, you know, there was like, like we're hunting them down. Um, It's a catastrophe that... Trump is acting this way. It's, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and then Biden came out and told Trump he needs to go help those people. I thought to myself, wait a minute, you're the president. You can do it. So, I don't know. It's crazy. It's it's getting dumber and dumber. (laughs) So, I hope everybody has a great Monday evening. This is Wolf Fang. Blessed be, stay safe, and I will bullshit with y'all later. Bye.